Okay, odd functions all have one thing in common, and you can see it in each one of these graphs. An odd function will always have rotational symmetry around the point zero, zero. That's a point symmetry where if I rotate the graph 180 degrees, like flipping it upside down, I get back the same exact line or curve that I started with. So for example, if I take a copy of my purple graph here and I'm going to rotate it around the origin 180 degrees, you can see that I get the same exact graph that I started with. That means that it's an odd function. So if we try that method, looking for rotational symmetry around the origin with the graph of f of x equals 2x to the fifth minus 3x, then in my graphing calculator, in y equals, I'll type in that function. So 2x raised to the fifth power minus 3x. Okay, I can see that it passes through the origin. And if I were to flip this graph upside down, rotate it 180 degrees, I would get back the same thing that I started with. So this is an odd function. So now we know that odd functions have the characteristic of rotational symmetry around the point zero, zero at the origin. And they also have the characteristic that their equations will always have only odd exponents on the variables. So if I wanted to look back at the function f of x equals 2x to the fifth minus 3x, remembering that odd functions have all odd exponents on their variables, and I'll notice that the power on x here is 5, which is odd, and then the power on this x is a 1, x to the first is just x, and 1 is also odd. So since I have only odd exponents, this is an odd function. So odd functions have uh, rotational symmetry about the origin. They have all odd exponents on the variables in their equations. And another characteristic then is that if the point a comma b is on the line, then the point negative a negative b must also be present on that line. If I want to look at my function f of x equals 2x to the fifth minus 3x and test it to see if it's odd using this characteristic, the first thing I'm going to have to do is select a point that's on, on the line. So I'm going to choose a point on the line when x equals 1. So if I put a 1 in, f of 1, that would be 2 times 1 to the 5th power minus 3 times 1. 1 to the 5th power is 1 times 2 gives me 2. 3 times 1 gives me a 3. And 2 minus 3 is negative 1. So when I put 1 in for x, I get back negative 1. So my point a, B, then, that I'm going to use is 1, negative 1. That means that the point negative 1, comma, positive 1 must also be on the line if this is an odd function because I'm taking the A, which is 1, and I'm taking the opposite then, negative, and I get a negative 1. The B was negative to begin with, so when I take the opposite, I get a positive one. So now I have to test to make sure that this point is also on the line. So I'm going to check f of negative one. So as I simplify, negative raised to an odd power gives me back a negative, so that's a negative two. Then a negative times a negative gives me a positive three 
on the other side. Negative 2 plus 3, that gives me a positive 1. So when I put in a negative 1 for x, I get back a positive 1, and then that means that my function is, in fact, odd. So I know that odd functions have rotational symmetry about the origin, their equations have only odd exponents on the variables, and if the point AB is on the line, then negative A, negative B must also be on the line. The final characteristic of functions that are odd that we're going to look at is this one. If I put in a negative x for x in the function, I should get back the opposite of that function, a negative f of x. So to take a look at this one, with my function f of x equals 2x to the fifth minus 3x, I'm going to start by putting in negative x into the function. So f of negative x would be 2 times negative x to the fifth minus 3 times a negative x. And when I simplify, a negative to an odd power is negative, so I'll have negative 2x to the fifth. Then a negative times a negative gives me back a positive 3x. Notice I don't get back what I started with, so this is not an even function. The next thing I need to do is test to see what negative of the function is. So I'm going to have a negative times the entire original function 2x to the fifth minus 3x. To get rid of these parentheses, I'm going to have to distribute this negative to each piece. So I'll have a negative 2x to the fifth, and a negative times a negative gives me a positive 3x. And you'll notice that what I got for f of negative x matches exactly what I got for negative f of x. So this function is odd. So in conclusion, there are four ways that we can test a function to see if it's odd. We can look at its graph and see if it has rotational symmetry around the point zero, zero. We can look at its equation and make sure that all of the exponents on the variables are odd. We could choose a point that's on the line and test to make sure that the negative of the x and y coordinates are also on the line. And then finally, we can test the function itself to see if it's odd by substituting a negative x into the function and seeing that that equals the negative of the entire function.